Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Ever since she took over as the US ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley's personal Twitter account has been an object of fascination for the diplomatic set. On the at Nikki Haley handle, the rising Republican star posts pictures of her dearest friends and showers love on her dog, Bentley. But she also denounces Russian actions in Syria and chides UN nations for voting against the United States. And then there are the many music recommendations. It's a journey kind of morning. At journey official hashtag don't stop believe in hashtag life is better with music, Haley wrote Thursday. The juxtaposition of silly and serious has produced eye rolling among UN diplomats. But analysts and former US officials say Haley's Twitter account which she has used for nearly a decade is indicative of another problem, some US diplomats are flouting State Department rules barring the use of personal social media accounts to make official statements. Those rules were devised in part so that the State Department, and not any individual, reaps the long-term benefits of an enhanced social media following. That may seem quaint given that all US diplomats report to a president who still uses his personal Twitter account. But Donald Trump isn't covered by the State Department rules. And social media is an important tool in public diplomacy, in which sites like Twitter and Facebook are part of a growing diplomatic virtual infrastructure that communicates US views abroad. The issue also spotlights the hotly debated questions of how much social media followers are worth and what it means to earn them. Former officials say that the State Department is unfairly deprived when prominent diplomats leave office and take with them followers acquired through their government service. Haley has long been considered a potential presidential candidate. Since her confirmation as ambassador in January 2017, Haley has seen her Twitter following increase more than eightfold, to 1.6 million. That's more than four times as many as the US mission to the United Nations office Twitter handle, at USUN. Taxpayer dollars shouldn't be used to fund someone's social media stardom for political or business purposes, said Brett Bruin, a former diplomat who helped craft the State Department guidelines. It doesn't take a savvy political mind to identify that Haley is trying to attract American voters for 2024. A spokesman for the US mission to the United Nations disputed that Haley is using her personal account for political reasons but didn't directly respond when Politico presented nearly two dozen examples of recent Haley tweets that appear to violate the department's rules. Other US diplomats, such as Richard Grenell, the new ambassador to Germany, and State Department spokeswoman Heather Nauert also have tested the limits by using personal accounts in what appears to be an official capacity. After Trump announced he was quitting the Iran nuclear deal earlier this month, Grenell who has been criticized for making acidic statements on Twitter in the past used his personal account to demand that German companies doing business in Iran wind down operations immediately.